Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. This is Mr. Batch with the Street Sport Riff. That's right. Right now, I'm located at the Harley J. Mosley Sr. Veterans Memorial Park, dedicated in 1987, located here in Co-op City in the Bronx. Man, I got to jump in. It may be baseball time. It may be hockey playoff time. It may be basketball playoff time. But you know what? For me, it's football, 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 and hot off the presses. The first thing we're going to do, Brandon Marshall has been traded to the Miami Dolphins for two second rounders. And, whoa, things are going to get pretty hectic in the AFC East. Uh, now, we all know that the Patriots are the one to beat because they got all the rings. But we've got a coach here that says, I ain't here to kiss your rings. This is going to be making a very interesting uh, uh, scenario for the AFC East because I think one of those three teams ain't gone. The Buffalo Bills, they're out of it. They they got to they gotta figure out a way. Uh, that's one of the landing spots for maybe Tim Tebow. Speaking of Tim Tebow, let me jump into Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, come on, man. You've seen what happened to Rex Ryan. You've seen what happened to uh, Ralph Wilson. Roger Goodell ain't going to play this. My man is going to spank you. He's going to spank you hard. And one thing you must always remember, that the camera is always on, regardless of where you're at. Now, remember, folks, I'm just going to give you this real quick. When the Pope had passed away and they had his funeral procession, you know that on the uh, newspapers, you know what they had as a photograph in his possession as the body was being going about. Yo, you've seen all these people with their cell phone cameras taking pictures. That's right. You're always on. Now, I don't know where Jerry Jones was at making those derogatory and derisive statements. Come on. Let's get down with the real thing. Now, you're going to talk about my man Bill Parcells who brought two rings to the giant franchise and was trying to help you out and you was trying to get in his way and what did he tell you he says don't go anointing uh, Tony Romo anything yet and he was right listen to the football man you had Jimmy Johnson came in he was the football man that got you that ring then you fired him and said anybody can win and Barry Switzer won with Jimmy uh, with Jimmy Johnson's crew Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones. That liquid courage will get you in trouble every time. I know from personal experience there's some of you guys out there that if not my age, that are old enough to drink and have uh, some worldly experience knows when you get that liquid courage in you, you can make some mistakes and yeah, there'll be some regrets down the road. Now, speaking of football and down the road, we're looking at Jerry Rice going into the Nationwide Golf Tournament. Uh, they talked about Michael Jordan not being able to hit a curveball, etc., etc. You know what? Let's give these elite athletes a chance to see if they can prove themselves out there uh, in another sport. Let's see if it can happen. I'm going to be watching Jerry, Jerry Rice as he progresses and see if he can make the cut and, and you know, and become a two-sport star. Because remember... Back in the day, we're talking like the 60s, the 50s, you had two-way stars, guys that would play offense and defense. Then you would have guys that would play two different sports. Now, the last guy from my generation that played uh, two sports was Bo Jackson because Bo knows, and he did it well. Now, Tiger, speaking of golf, is supposed to be signing up. If he's supposed to go to Pebble Beach in Florida, which he's good at, he's supposed to sign up like two, three weeks in advance. So that there's two, there's two golf matches coming up that he should play in before he gets to that one. So I'm going to be watching it. I'm really watching this golf now, being that Tiger's back. Look, a guy had... A guy had what? He was off since November, came back. No mere mortal could have done what he did. All right. Now, let me finish off with Santonio Holmes and Big Ben. Big Ben, you're creepy. Dude, you're creepy. Creepy. Yo, bottom line is this. Is I'm going to be real, guys, is that Big Ben, you got a lot of money. Get you an escort service. Whatever town you dro you drop into, call up and pay for a young lady to keep your company. Because anytime you go someplace, whatever you're doing, you seem to be a crude and rude dude out there. That's not looking good because guess what? All of that fame and fortune can be taken away from you in a heartbeat. And next thing you know, you could be the next Joe locked up inside <laughs> with the mother cats behind bars. So my thing is, Ben Roethlisberger, I don't know, the, the stuff off the field and then it's, it's going to spill over into the field because you're going to have all these distractions. You're going to have the media uh, running you down, wanting to ask you questions about 
about the situation with all these women. Now, if all these reports is coming out, man, it's not looking good for you, bro. Now, for San Antonio Holmes. Now, I made a statement the other day. Why are they going to send Holmes to New York? He was, he was going to be suspended for four games. He come here to New York, and next thing you know, he's going to be smoking blunts and spliffs with all the kids on the court. I'm sorry. I should have never made that statement. What I should say is that, all right, we're going to give him a chance. It seems as if the New York Jets is turning into the Oakland Raiders East. You guys remember a time when the Oakland Raiders used to pick up all the dregs and uh, and uh, former, you know, they were malcontents, guys who really weren't that good. The Oakland Raiders used to take them in. And, hey, they would fit with their bad boy image. Now you've got the Jets of the East. That's right, they're in the East. But we're calling it, I'm calling them the Oakland Raiders East. Because they've been taking all these 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 guys with big mouths and all these guys that that have questionable character and all these other guys that that you know, in some cases you wouldn't let your daughter or your sister date them. So this is Mr. Batch with a quick uh, street sport trip out there at the Harley. Let me get this right now. I'm going to say this right now. The Harley J. Mosley Sr. Uh, Veterans Memorial Park located here in Co-op City. This is Mr. Batch. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.